New Zealand has had a worldwide reputation for innovation, especially in the aeronautics field, in the composites field. Uh, it might strike New Zealanders as a surprise. Oh. Very creative, very innovative folks here in New Zealand. And I think there's much about the country and the society that really fosters that. Because you only have four million people, you're agile, you're a smaller country. In the United States, we're not agile. We're a big monster, and so it takes a lot of time to get any work done in the United States. You put a civilization like we have in New Zealand, which is made of very few people, so therefore you know everybody, the rules are very clear, they are there to help you achieve something rather than to stop you doing this. It's just incredible what companies are able to do. Uh, we're doing a couple different things. The first thing is uh, the Synergy aircraft, which is a, a prototype double box tail configuration aircraft. We're looking to commercialize that as a kit aircraft, and that will employ uh, the services of composites, machiners, uh, machinists, uh, large scale fabrication technologies, all of which uh, have state of the art examples here in New Zealand. People can think differently, think, you know, out of the box, not feel constrained by conventions, but also keep in mind the laws of physics. Aviation is in New Zealand's DNA. New Zealand is now seen as young and innovative and, and full of technology and you know we get people coming from all over the world and they say you know almost universally they say we know you Kiwis can develop amazing technology. We can work um, for example with Kiwi Props we can work with our partners here in New Zealand very easily because we're transferring data files. Everything can be, can be transferred electronically. And the production in the United States would cost us three, four, five times what it would cost us here. And yet we have got the quality here. If we send it off to China, we can have the same cost, price point, but we don't have the quality point. Innovative culture of making something work without being bogged down by the obstacle. Innovation, scrappiness, all of those kinds of characteristics carry it very well in the aviation industry. There's some mystique, which is interesting. Um, people don't understand it, um, but I think anything that comes from New Zealand, people pay attention to, even more so than they would from products from the United States. So we know that we can get what we need from New Zealand, and we're uh, happy to play a part in working together uh, for the worldwide market. For a company to buy a product that was, say, made in Mexico or made in China versus made in New Zealand, it's like, oh yeah, let's go for the one made in New Zealand. It's not just a marketing gimmick, it's the fact of the matter. Uh, what we find here is that there are fewer barriers, psychological, mental, institutional barriers to innovation. So we, we say, hey, we have this new prop. In the United States, you say, well, have you done this? And have you done this? And have you done this? Uh, we come down to uh, New Zealand and we find that, well, maybe we can do that. Yeah, sure, we can do that for one-tenth of what it would cost elsewhere and in half the time.